Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vaga Maradian, and welcome to our weekly cyber report sponsored by Northrop Grumman. And joining us is retired United States Navy Rear Admiral Will Metz, the former Director of Intelligence for the U.S. Pacific Command, now the Director of Strategy and Program Integration at Northrop Grumman Cyber and Intelligence Mission Solutions. Sir, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, so let's uh, dive into the is issue of domestic and, uh, excuse me, defensive and uh, offensive uh, cyber. Everybody sort of understands what defensive cyber is, mm. whereas offensive sh uh, cyber is shrouded in uh, both uh, a lot of secrecy but also misunderstanding. Let's start with what defensive cyber is, particularly in a naval application. Absolutely. So if you think about the advances in technology for the purposes of command and control of operational forces. Those capabilities are enabled through information technology. We say cyberspace. So the expectation, Vago, is in order to assure command and control of forces, that capability must be defended. I would refer to that as defensive cyber operations. Relative to offensive cyber operations, as you say, it is um, enclosed in a shroud of secrecy, but I will attempt to simplify it for you. If we think about the delivery of effects and whether the delivery of effects is done from a kinetic weapon or a non-kinetic weapon, it is the proficiency associated with the delivery of non-kinetic effects that is most closely aligned with offensive cyber operations. And uh, offensive cyber is equally important to uh, probe your own systems for weakness and defects, right? Absolutely. Uh, previously, you had an opportunity to chat with Major General retired Greg Potter. He spoke to you about the importance of building in survivability into IT systems and weapon systems. So if you think about the fact that our adversaries continue to exploit weaknesses in our command and control capability, you must leverage that art and the proficiency of that art to assure our command and control systems, and more importantly, and progressively so, weapon systems. Um, and what are the unique uh, operational, both uh, cyber challenges, but also cyber opportunities at sea? Because generally it's um, you know a large unit that has generally one pipe that's coming into the ship, or should be. Absolutely. The challenges first. The challenges are to recognize that the operational platform ship is as equally as important as the shore-based capability that enhances its operations. So we would characterize the uh, capability that enables operations at sea as part of the platform, if you will. And so if you think about moving forward into the future, the need to create operational proficiency in the combination of shore capability combined with that which must occur operationally at sea is necessary. Retired United States Admiral Will Metz, sir, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.